The Hayflick limit is the number of times a normal human cell population will divide until cell division stops. Empirical evidence shows that the telomeres associated with each cell's DNA will get slightly shorter with each new cell division until they shorten to a critical length. The concept of the Hayflick limit was advanced by American anatomist Leonard Hayflick in 1961, at the Wistar Institute in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hayflick demonstrated that a population of normal human fetal cells in a cell culture will divide between 40 and 60 times. The population will then enter a senescence phase, which refutes the contention by Nobel laureate Alexis Carroll that normal cells are immortal. Each mitosis slightly shortens each of the telomeres on the DNA of the cells. Telomere shortening in humans eventually makes cell division impossible, and this aging of the cell population appears to correlate with the overall physical aging of the human body. This mechanism also appears to prevent genomic instability. Telomere shortening may also prevent the development of cancer in human aged cells by limiting the number of cell divisions. However, shortening of telomeres impairs immune function and thus might also increase susceptibility to cancer. History, belief of cell immortality, prior to Hayflick's discovery, it was believed that vertebrate cells had an unlimited potential to replicate. Alexis Carroll, a Nobel Prize winning surgeon, had stated that all cells explanted in culture are immortal, and that the lack of continuous cell replication was due to ignorance on how best to cultivate the cells. He supported this hypothesis by having cultivated fibroblasts from chicken hearts, and to have kept the culture growing for 34 years. This indicated that cells of vertebrates could continue to divide indefinitely in a culture. However, other scientists have been unable to repeat Carroll's result. Carroll's result is suspected to be due to an error in experimental procedure. To provide required nutrients, embryonic stem cells of chickens may have been reeded to the culture daily. This would have easily allowed the cultivation of new, fresh cells in the culture, so there was not an infinite reproduction of the original cells. If this is true, it has been speculated that Carroll knew about the error, but he never admitted it. Also, it has been theorized that the cells Carroll used were young enough to contain pluripotent stem cells, which, if supplied with a supporting telomerase activation nutrient, would have been capable of staving off replicative senescence, or even possibly reversing it. Cultures not containing telomerase active pluripotent stem cells would have been populated with telomerase inactive cells, which would have been subject to the 50 a euro 60 mitosis cycles until apoptosis occurs as described in Leonard Hayflick's findings. Experiment and Discovery Dr. Leonard Hayflick first became suspicious of Carroll's theory while working in a lab at the Wistar Institute. Hayflick was preparing normal human cells to be exposed to extracts of cancer cells when he noticed the normal cells had stopped proliferating. At first he thought that he had made a technical error in preparing the experiment, but later he began to think that the cell division processes had a counting mechanism. Working with Paul Muirhead, a cytogeneticist, he designed an experiment to test Carroll's theory of cell division. The experiment proceeded as follows. Hayflick and Muirhead mixed equal numbers of normal human male fibroblasts that had divided many times with female fibroblasts that had divided only a few times. Unmixed cell populations were kept as controls. When the male control culture stopped dividing, the mixed culture was examined and only female cells were found. This showed that the old male cells remembered they were old, even when surrounded by young cells, and that technical errors or contaminating viruses were unlikely explanations as to why only the male cell component had died. The cells had stopped dividing and had become senescent based purely upon how many times the cell had divided. These results disproved the immortality theory of Carroll and established the Hayflick limit as a credible biological theory that, unlike Carroll's experiment, has been repeated by other scientists. Cell phases Hayflick describes three phases in the life of a cell. At the start of his experiment, he named the primary culture phase 1. Phase 2 is defined as the period when cells are proliferating a euro Hayfleet called it the time of luxuriant growth. After months of doubling the cells eventually reach phase 3, a phenomenon of senescence a euro cell growth diminishes and then cell division stops altogether. Delormere length, 
the Hayfleek limit has been found to correlate with the length of the telomere region at the end of a strand of DNA. During the process of DNA replication, small segments of DNA at each end of the DNA strand are unable to be copied and are lost after each time DNA is duplicated. The telomere region of DNA does not code for any protein. It is simply a repeated code on the end region of DNA that is lost. After many divisions, the telomeres become depleted and the cell begins apoptosis. This is a mechanism that prevents replication error that would cause mutations in DNA. Once the telomeres are depleted, due to the cell dividing many times, it will no longer divide. This is when the cell has reached its Hayfleek limit. This process does not take place in cancer cells due to an enzyme called polymerase. This enzyme maintains telomere length, which results in the telomeres of cancer cells never shortening. This gives these cells infinite replicative potential. A proposed treatment for cancer is the usage of polymerase inhibitors that would prevent the restoration of the telomere, allowing the cell to die like other body cells. On the other hand, Polymerase activators might repair or extend the telomeres of healthy cells, thus extending their Hayfleek limit. Polymerase activation might also lengthen the telomeres of immune system cells enough to prevent cancerous cells from developing from cells with very short telomeres. Carnosine can increase the Hayfleek limit in human fibroblasts, and also appears to reduce the rate of telomere shortening. In popular culture, the concept of Hayfleek limit was used in the SF movie Anacondas 2, The Search for Blood Orchid. See also, apoptosis, biological immortality, HeLa cells, induced stem cells, Leonard Hayfleek, polymerase, notes. References Literature, Watts, Jeff. Leonard Hayfleek and the Limits of Aging. The Lancet 377, 2075. Doi. 10.1016 per second 0140-6736, 11, 60908 a Harley, Calvin B. Futra, A. Bruce. Grider, Carol W. Telomeres shortened during aging of human fibroblasts. Nature 345, 458 a Euro 60 doi, 10.1038 slash 345458 AO. PMIDA 2342578A, Gavrilov L.A., Gavrilova N.S. The Biology of Lifespan, a Quantitative Approach. New York, Harvard Academic Publisher. ISBN A3-7186-4983-7A, Gavrilov L.A., Gavrilova N.S. How Many Cell Divisions in Old Cells? Int. J. Geriatric Psychiatry 8, 528 a Euro 528 a, Wang, Richard C. Smogorzewska, Egata. DeLang, Tisha. Homologous recombination generates T loop sized deletions at human telomeres. Cell 119, 355 a Euro 68 doi, 10.1016 slash J cell. 2004.10.011. PMIDA 15507207R, Watson, J. M. Shippen, D. E. Telomere Rapid Deletion Regulates Telomere Length in Arabidopsis thaliana. Molecular and Cellular Biology 27, 1706 a Euro 15 doi, 10.1128 slash MCBO2059 06. PMCA 1820464. PMIDA 17189431A, External Links, Cell Immortality and Cancer, Historical Review of Studies on Cell Division Limit.